We got two fifth gen 4Runners here. Both of them have C4 front bumpers on them. One is the Low Pro and one is the Overland. We're gonna be taking a look at both of these and comparing them, so let's get into it. So for starters, both of these front bumpers are gonna be mounting to the frame the exact same way. So you're gonna be taking off the front crash bar, you're gonna be mounting this bumper in to that same exact location using the OEM bolts. So the only main difference is where you're gonna be cutting on your front bumper, the Overland bumper, and the hybrid bumper, you're gonna be taking your OEM bumper and pretty much cutting it in half in order to make it fit. Where the Low Pro bumper, you're gonna be keeping the sides. We have some extensions on here, we'll get to that but you're gonna just have to be, uh, cut out the center section in order to make that fit. Both styles of bumpers are gonna be able to fit a wench inside. This one's got a 10,000 pound wench from Super Wench, and this one's got a 10,000 pound wench from Warren. They're pretty much identical. They're gonna mount the exact same way. Both bumpers are also going to have a location for a 30 inch light bar. This one has one from Dial Dynamics, and this one has a light bar from Baja Designs. The only difference is gonna be where the light bar mounts. As you can see, the light bar on the Overland bumper is a bit higher as compared to the Low Pro bumper. Moving on to other lighting options, as you can see on the Overland bumper, we have some fog lights here from Dial Dynamics, um, whereas on the Low Pro bumper, you're not gonna have any extra room to mount other lights. You're gonna be utilizing your factory fog light location. And like on the hybrid bumper, there is room to mount even more lights than what we have here. So let's talk about the bumper add-ons. On the Overland bumper here, we have the full bull bar. And on the Low Pro bumper, we don't have that. It is an option. You can get the Overland bumper without this as well. Um, so there's a couple different options when it comes to those add-ons. Over here on the Low Pro bumper, as I said earlier, we have these extensions. These are from C4. And um, this is gonna give you some more approach angle. Just gives it a more aggressive look. You're gonna have to cut more of your bumper in order to get these mounted up. But these mount right to the side of the low pro bumper. And um, this whole combo comes in cheaper and less weight than the Overland bumper. So we'll get into weight and pricing. Starting with weight, the low pro bumper. Just by itself, the center section is gonna be 75 pounds. The extensions are gonna be an additional 35 pounds. So you're looking at 110 pounds altogether not including the wench and light bar, also without the bull bar. Over here on the Overland bumper, by itself with the uh, full bull bar, you're looking at 150 pounds. So you have about a 40 pound weight difference there between the two. Let's look at price. The Low Pro with the extensions is gonna come in at $1,480, roughly 1,500 bucks where the Overland bumper is gonna come in just under $2,000. So you got about a four or $500 difference there in price, not to mention that both of these do not come powder coated. So you're gonna to have to either paint them yourself or pay someone to get them powder coated. Pretty much all products from C4 are made to order right here in the USA. So when you go to order and you see the long lead time, that is the reason why. I'm pretty sure I hit most of the marks on both of these bumpers. Let me know down in the comments which one you guys like, the Low Pro, the Overland, or if you like the Hybrid, which we don't have here. And if you wanna grab one of these bumpers or anything else from C4, you can head over to yodexpedition.com or click the link in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.